Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we are talking about all the latest enhancements in ADS. In this video, we will focus on conducted and radiated EMI. Now, the challenge we took upon at Keysight is how to make it easier to simulate EMI EMC measurement setups to drive better simulation to measurement correlation. And now we have an excellent solution in place. During the last release of ADS, we did introduce conducted EMI solution. And now in ADS 2023, we do also support radiated EMI, making the solution pretty complete for designers to use. Now the conducted EMI or radiated EMI usually gets detected pretty late in the product design cycle, and it could result in design failures, respin or added retrofits due to EMI, not only add cost, but typically delay in your critical launch dates. Now, if you look at a typical EMI test setup, it's pretty complex and it's pretty hard to replicate faithfully in your simulation environment. And that's precisely what the new capability in ADS 2023 provides the user, where you can model each and every part of your EMI test setup and then perform simulation to look at all the various attributes of your design in terms of a spectrum, waveform, and the voltage spectrums at different nodes. Pretty cool right okay the older way of doing things required many manual setup and added complexity due to which it became a pretty nightmarish job for any designer to set up and run these kind of analysis however with the new utility or add-on it's very very easy for every designer to run conducted and radiated emi on his design which you will see in this video now, the example I'm going to present is based on one of the board, which is designed by PicoTest. And this board is available for purchase at picotest.com. And it is based on silicon carbide 531. Now, this board has various design, which ranges from a solid ground condition versus various cutouts or various amount of cutout under the inductor to give a good learning to all the budding engineers. And it's a pretty simple open loop operation, which ensures a repeatable measurement for correlation along with simulation. So this is what we are going to go through. Now, depending upon how good is your model and how good is your setup, you can get an excellent correlation between simulation and measurement as shown on the graphs here. So the entire accuracy thing, it results on how good is your component model and having high fidelity model for simulation purpose will almost take you very close to the actual measurement results so pay special focus and i will touch upon briefly on this topic for more detail you can watch a pretty nice webcast and plenty other webcast on keysight.com the link of this particular webcast is provided in the description box of this video all right, with this introduction, let's take a quick look at the new utility, which now you have access to. So when you switch on ADS 2023 and simply click on example search box, if you type EMI, you will get an example, which is a tutorial to perform a conducted EMI. And now it also has radiated EMI. You can open a documentation of this example, which not only gives you details about the workspace you are going to open, but also step-by-step -step instructions to for you to come up with your own setup from scratch. So pretty cool and a very nice tutorial example for you to explore. All right, since we are here, I have already unarchived that workspace. And now here you can refer to the readme file. And this readme file basically give you three simple instructions how to work with this workspace. The first example or the first design you can select and then simply push in, which gives you layout of the PCB board, which I just talked about. On this PCB board, you can go ahead and launch a SciNPI Pro Viewer, which basically opens up the design. And under analysis, you will see two setups already done for you. Ignore the third setup because this is something which I have already performed simulation on. The first setup is basically a simple DCIR drop analysis where you do have a VRM. One is a 12 volt external supply, and then we have 2.4 volt buck converter VRM there. And also we do have a sink uh, with the appropriate current rating. And all the nets are included in the analysis, including the inductor 
uh, which you see here. Now, once you have this set up, you can go ahead and option, set your temperature and any other option which you may want to select and go ahead and run this analysis. This is DCIR drop, so it kind of runs pretty quickly in a few seconds. And one of the other reason is this example is pretty simple so that you understand the process. And once you understand, you can apply it on your complex design. So here you can see within a few seconds, DCIR drop is finished. And now you can go ahead and inspect the results of DCIR drop in terms of overview, where you can get the power graph or the voltage and current density on your board design here, as I'm showing. So pretty easy and pretty quick analysis. Now, once your DC and IR drop analysis is done, you can copy over this setup by simply right clicking and copy the this setup over to conductor uh, EMI. And now under this setup, you can add the missing piece such as AC decoupling capacitors. So here there are various ways of selecting component. I'm simply selecting them in the GUI. And once I select, you can see all of them are also getting selected in the tree. Now you can simply drag and drop these component model under the component model in the analysis or simply right click on them and you know create component model for your analysis choose the right analysis name you want and now you have all the component models added to your design now each of these component models are basically using a library cell which means they have a model defined in the schematic and that is what is going to be used if you are importing a fresh odb plus plus file and you don't have a schematic model you can watch another video on my YouTube channel, which explains the process of how you can create a library of these models very quickly and attach the schematic view to each of these components. And then you can make this component as high fidelity as you want by including either the S parameter file or you can derive your own RLC parasitic model. Now, once everything is plain, the only uh, minor change you have to do for conductor or radiated EMI setup is double click on your VRM and define the switching frequency, switch node rise time and the switch resistance. This will allow you to model a simplistic VRM for your simulation. But not to worry, if you have more complex model, I will explain how you can get through and include more complex model for your switch or for other components in your design. Now, once this is done, you can go ahead and go to option, define your frequency sweep, and under options, if you want to include radiated EMI, simply go to off board option, include the radiated EMI, select the conducted EMI cable length. By default, it's a six inch, but in case you want to change it to 1.5 meter, you can do so right here, or you can even do that in the schematic, which we are going to generate. Now, after this, please go ahead and run simulation. And once simulation finishes, you can look at the result. Here, I have already performed a simulation, which only took like a couple of minutes on my um, you know, laptop here. It's two minutes, 11 seconds for this particular design. You can also uh, exploit the Design Cloud HPC. If you are dealing with a very complex board and it's taking good amount of time, you can run all these frequency points in parallel. Now, after simulation is finished, you can look at the conducted you know, EMI emissions and you can choose which node you want to look at. By default, the listen nodes are provided, but you do also have access to other nodes in your design and you can switch on any node, look at the frequency spectrum or switch on the time domain view to look at the waveforms at different point. And here you can see the switch um, pulse width modulation. Also, if you deactivate it, you can see uh, the waveform at the listen nodes. Pretty comprehensive, you know, uh, data display provided and you get access to every node in your design. Along with this, since we also perform radiated EMI, you can also select radiated EMI plot. And here you can make different selections such as polarization and the uh, radiation contributors, orientation. So everything is pretty flexible and you can choose among many options available here, including the PCB orientation, uh, which side of the table you have kept your PCB. And also you can rotate PCB at different angles because at different angle, uh, your radiated fields will change as you can see here.
pretty cool, right? Okay, after you inspected all these things and you want to add more sophisticated models for your components, such as switches and so on, you can go ahead and generate a conducted EMI test pins. So once we do that, two things happen. If you look at the ADS main window, you can see there are two test benches created for you. One is on the conducted EMI, another is on the radiated EMI. Each of these schematic will have a certain setup done for you. Starting from left, you have the, the power supply and you can push inside and you can see the two lesson modules, the differential as parameter because we are looking at the radiated EMI supply. And then uh, going from here, you can also look at the, the switch model, which in this case is a simplistic switch model. But in case you have more complex SPICE model uh, for your switches, you can always go ahead and import the SPICE model into ADS for simulation. Now, after the simulation, you, can, you will be able to see the data display. Since we are running harmonic balance uh, simulation here, you can see, you can define the switching frequency and the number of harmonics to look at the spectrum, time domain waveforms, and rest of the spectrum at different nodes. So pretty cool, all right? So you have the example. Simply go ahead and download ADS 2023 and explore this example at your own convenience. That's all I wanted to present in this video. Thanks a lot for watching and wish you all the best in your design work.